January 2009, in the country awoke to the traumatizing pictures of Kenyans burning to their deaths. Over 120 people lost their lives along the Nakuru Eldoret Highway in Sichenguan, Molo, Nakuru County, after an oil spill from an overturned truck burst into flames as own Lucas attempted to siphon foil. Seven years later, the ghost of tragic road accidents occasioned by vehicles ferrying flammable goods and bursting into flames on impact has reared its ugly head once again. Sunday morning, the nation woke to news of the horrific road accident at Laini area along the Naivasha Nakuru Highway with at least 39 people reported dead and others nursing burns after a truck ferrying flammable materials lost control ramming into several motor vehicles before bursting into flames. The impact of the accident, similar to the June 2009 Kapukiek village near Kericho oil tanker fair accident, which killed at least four and injured nearly 50 others. The events coupled with dozen others raising questions over the safety of the country's roads, where commuters are forced to share the same roads with heavy commercial vehicles ferrying flammable goods. These even as those who witnessed Saturday night's accident attributed lack of proper road signage on the section of the road after rubber bombs were erected to the accident. The latest incident igniting questions as to whether the obtaining situation is an accident waiting to happen and what should perhaps be done to avert similar incidents in future.